Welcome to the Winning the Game of Life series. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the chapters in my book, right? And this chapter is really called The Power of Leverage. Now, have you ever wondered why some people can achieve so much with the same resources as other people? Like, why there some people who have got, you know, no money, who have got no degree, who have got no talent, they can build a billion dollar business and create products that change the world? I mean, look at the Bill Gates, look at the Larry Ellison, look at the Steve Jobs. They all dropped out of school, right? They had no degree. Um, Steve Jobs had no background in engineering, no background in computing, okay? They had no money, right? And they built billion dollar businesses. How did they do that? Now, at the same time, there are some people who are born in rich families, they got all that money, right? Or they go to Harvard University, Cambridge, got the PhDs, got the master's degrees, but they don't achieve as much. Why? We're gonna find out why in this video. And many times people ask me, they say, you know, Adam, how are you able to do so much? You know, uh, you, you write books, you speak every day, you run so many businesses, you are an investor. You know, where do you get all this talent from? Where do you get all this time from? Now, it may shock you for me to tell you this. I don't have more talent than you, okay? I don't have more time than you. I've got the same 24 hours a day, okay? I don't have more education than some of you. I know some of you listening to this may have masters or PhDs be smarter than me. But the reason why I've achieved so much is because I've learned to harness the power of one secret, and that's the power of leverage. Now, what's leverage all about? Leverage is the process of being able to magnify small results, or rather small efforts and small resources to create huge results. Now, the word leverage comes from the word lever, right? If you study physics before. And basically, a lever is this, okay? A lever allows you to lift a huge weight with a small effort. And the lever makes use of what we call the fulcrum, okay? With this small amount of effort or resources, we create huge results, whether money or happiness, whatever, okay? So, in reality, what is this fulcrum? You know, what do we leverage on? Now, there are many things you leverage on, but three main things. First thing, you leverage on other people's time. You leverage on other people's experience or talent. And finally, you leverage on other people's money. That's the secret to creating tremendous success with minimal resources and time. So let me give you an example. Leveraging on other people's time. It's like, you know, people say, you know, Adam, how do you run so many, for example, online businesses? If you go to one of my websites, you go to adam-ku.com, it will link you to all my other websites. And I've got many websites selling many things all around, okay? I run uh, something like about 15 companies in different areas. Where do I find the time? The answer is I don't, okay? I don't run any of my companies. I don't run any of my websites. They are run by many other people. For example, all my websites, they were created by one of my friends, Adam Wong. Okay, I didn't, I didn't build the websites. In fact, till today, I don't even know how to build a website. Okay, so he built the website, he created all the products, he wrote all the marketing copy, he wrote all the words, right? He created all the emails, he, he sends the emails to all the customers. I don't do anything, right? All I do is that I collect the money, okay? And I enjoy the fruits. So why is he so nice to me? Why is Adam Wong so nice to Adam Koo? Well, it's because he gets a percentage of all my profits, okay? And by doing that, I leverage on his time. I leverage on his expertise of knowing how to build websites because I don't have the time, I don't have the expertise, right? But he leverages on my name, on my products, on my content. So leveraging is a win-win process. So in the end, we both become more successful in the process. So to leverage, you gotta learn how to share, basically. Same thing, if you look at all my companies, they are run by great heads of division. And overall, they are run by my group CEO, his name is Patrick. And he's the man who built all my companies for me. And he allows me to write my books and to speak on stage with all these businesses. So why is he so nice to me? Because again, I've learned to share. So he gets a percentage of my businesses, a percentage of my profits. That's leveraging on other people's time. Now, leveraging on other people's talent and experience is just as important. Six years ago, I had this idea. I said, I want to create the Adam Koo Learning Centers. Because you know, most tuition centers are boring. Kids hate to go to them, right? They say, oh, I hate to go to tuition because it's so boring. And I had this dream of creating a learning center where kids would love to go to because learning in the class would become fun. 
and we use all the accelerated learning, whole brain learning techniques, right? From speed reading to memory skills, and kids will basically get top grades after this learning center. Now, here's the problem. I had no idea how to build a learning center, right? You know, I'm not an English teacher. I can't create English curriculum. I'm not a maths teacher. I can't create maths curriculum. And I've got no idea how to run a center. So how did I do it? I had to leverage on other people's talent. So I went out there to look for the best English teacher I could find. And I found Dr. Chia in me, who at the time taught at the NIE, which is a teacher's college in Singapore. She teaches the master's course. She's also the author of the Oxford Primary Essentials uh, series, which teaches English assessments. All right? I then found Dr. Peter Yen, who's an expert in mathematics with 24 years of experience writing mathematics books and teaching kids. So I went to these two experts and said, guys, you're the experts in maths and English. I'm not. So you write the curriculum, you train all my teachers, you create all the materials. And they did. So why are they so nice to me? Again, they get a percentage of the profits, right? And then once they wrote the curriculum, I built the Adam Cool Learning Centers. Now, I did not know how to manage the center and I got no